Hi everyone, just wanted to quickly pop in and talk about seasonal allergies as um, it's almost the mid-April and I also didn't want to talk about coronavirus. I'm just tired of talking about it, reading about it. It's everywhere. I'm not sure if you are getting exhausted of the same issues I have right now, but I feel like my brain fog is coming because of too much coronavirus information. But um, just wanted to share my story with seasonal allergies when i um when i first was um diagnosed with seasonal allergies it was like um probably six or seven years ago when we came to the um to arizona when we when we moved to arizona so we lived for a year in arizona um moved from michigan had no issues and all of a sudden i developed seasonal allergies and it was a miserable time in my life uh, because nobody could actually provide me any treatment. The antihistamines like Benadryl uh, would put me to sleep. Claritin wouldn't work. I don't know if you can relate to it. I went to the ENT doctor and um, I got the response that I should be a lifetime on uh, Flonase or I should do either immunotherapy shots every week or immunotherapy uh, with sublingual drops under my tongue. The, they were not given any guarantees for the um, shots to work. And it kind of felt like, well, I'm not getting any answers. I'm not sure if um, getting nasal steroids, uh, such as Flonase, which were prescription only back then, is the um, good option for me. I also couldn't get the answer to my question why it happened all of a sudden. His, my ENT said that well, um, because you know you moved from a different climate from, um, from Michigan, that's why probably you developed just earlier um, allergies to in Arizona because you know some people develop them earlier, some people develop them later. Uh, we could do a CAT scan. Thank you very much, but no to see if there are any polyps he wasn't able to see polyps um, on the visual inspection you know my na nasal cavities and there was nothing about fungal um poss possibility of fungal sinusitis or anything like that um i did have a skin prick test and i reacted to like everything in arizona that blooms year round so it was uh cottonwood, um, eucalyptus, you name it, I got it. Uh, the only allergy I didn't have was um, to mold and dust mites. Thank you. So basically, I was so miserable. The symptoms were very, very different. I mean, well, not different, but you know, when people complain just about sneezing or post nasal drip or watery eyes, you don't realize that it's more than that. It's It could be fatigue that comes and doesn't lift during the day, it could be um, like you cannot eat anything or nothing tastes the same anymore. And you're just miserable the whole day. And I tried to pinpoint, is it allergies outside? Is it allergies inside? Try to stay inside of the house or apartment that we rented and nothing was working. For me, I had to dig deeper. And thankfully, I shared sometime a long, long time ago, the post um, on Instagram about the nurse practitioner that I met at um, the practice um, of this ear, nose and throat doctor. And she actually told me somehow they tested me for candida allergies. And she said that I have, I'm positive for candida allergy on, a, I believe it was on a skin, skin test, skin prick test. And I couldn't believe it. Well, well candida, everybody has candida. So she gave me the uh, printout of foods to avoid, basically uh, anti-candida diet, which I came home and it wasn't, um, um, I had to avoid foods um, that are rich in yeast, but it didn't matter if I had gluten or not. So I start or dairy for that matter. So I started avoiding a lot of foods um, that were on that can, anti candida diet and also avoiding sugar, honey, all kinds of sweeteners, all kinds of foods rich in yeast. And what happened, and I also started taking probiotics that my friend told me to take. Well, I just was a new NP back then and I didn't actually learn much about, um, you know, uh, functional medicine. So just because my friend said maybe it w would help, I started taking probiotics. Within a month, my symptoms got much better. Um, that was just 
a miracle because I could actually function, I could actually study, I could um, do things around the house, I had my energy almost back, I felt like I was normal again. Um, but what I didn't mention is the cause, of what caused my allergic symptoms and I didn't get any answers um, about that from the ear, nose, throat doctor that I went to. So the the timing was weird because I went to Ukraine and I self-medicated because I got bronchitis and I had to jump on a plane and fly to Moscow and from Moscow I had to um, jump you know, on the next plane and fly to the United States. Um, there were like two other stops that I had to make and I had to... I decided that I had to self-medicate for because I had very distinct bronchitis. I was miserable. I had something viral going on. I wasn't sure if it went, you know, if it was possibly viral pneumonia, but I was miserable. I prescribed myself um, z -pack, um just three doses. You know, usually it's three day um, prescription, one pill a, a day of z -pack. And um, my symptoms, my bronchial and lung symptoms got much better, but all of a sudden my nasal, post-nasal drip, my um, runny nose, nothing, uh, watery eyes, nothing else got better. Only my lung symptoms. Somehow I made it to the United States. And after that, uh, waiting for two months for my symptoms disappear, being miserable, having like lots of energy, lack of energy, nothing would help me feel normal again so i couldn't understand why my allergies and why my skin prick test came back positive after i got um a prescription of z-pack so since then i realized that um microbi i have to find answers somewhere else not in the conventional medicine because it just doesn't didn't give me any answers and six or seven years ago when i started looking on pubmed there was there was not much about candida and yeast overgrowth and bacterial overgrowth there was almost nothing um in the research that i could find that i could actually take and see what what i can do with my case to make it better so i started using trial and error and seeing where the my weak spots are and now I actually know that it could be connected to my weak genetics and my weak microbiome um, diversity is um, connected to that partially but a lot of things was that I used to live on a standard American diet, set diet, I thought lots of um, grain foods, you know, 11 servings of grain a day is normal. Um, I think back then they, they were switching the food pyramid to plate.gov or whatever that is. But back in school, during the nutrition class, I was still studying the food pyramid. So I still remember that I couldn't understand how people can stay um, slim and fit if they're gonna eat 11 servings of bread, for, I mean, 11, 11 servings of whole grains. For me, 11 servings of whole grains is like 11 pieces of bread, you know, equivalent or something like that, or 11, 11 servings of rice, whole grain, correct? You can use brown rice or something, some, something like that. I still couldn't understand how it, it's possible that in never in my lifetime, I would eat 11 servings of you know whole grains i would eat maybe 11 servings of cake when i was growing up and was younger and i didn't know that um my teeth health is connected to the servings of um cake i eat um but ukrainian cakes are quite different from american cakes i would say because they are so rich in fat because we usually use um whipped cream that is real cream you know um, that you buy from the cow nearby basically from the farmers nearby and it's um whole fat whipped you know you we whip it um it's whole fat cream and the same about any creams we use we did we didn't have any kind of uh, we had butter cream but we didn't have any um american frosting that is you can buy at walmart or costco nowadays but um we did have merengue cream which is um high protein cream with lots of sugar but it's still high protein buttercream that is high in butter not margarine 
and um, usually it's grass-fed butter because we didn't know any better back then. And then um, there was um, put another cream. Um, yeah, the whole whipped cream. So I think you know it's impossible to eat eleven servings of that cake because one piece you eat. And you just cannot handle any more pieces because the fat content overpowers and keeps you satiated for a long time. So I just wanted to share my story, and I'm coming up with a little, little um, with more details on how I treat seasonal allergies in in allergies in general with my future po posts and blog articles because it's important to support your immune system right now and support support your nasal cavities, nasal passages because. Um, if they are boggy and, and pale, which is usually consistent with the al seasonal allergies, you may have less chances of fighting any viral or um, bacterial infection. And for this very reason, a lot of people that I used to see in my practice um, had um, sinus infections that were promoted during that they would show up during the allerg allergic allergy seasons so um taking care of your allergies you know allergies now preventatively doing everything you can decreasing the histamine in your body decrease decreasing the reaction to your of your body to the histamine will help you actually to reduce the risk of um, getting sinus infections down the road when the um, everything is blooming everywhere. And in Arizona, actually, the most severe bloom is orange bloom, orange blossoms, and lots of people get allergies to that. And stay tuned to see what I my top two recommendations. Um, to decrease your exposure to allergens and to promote the natural immunotherapy if you cannot afford, like I couldn't afford, the um, oral immunotherapy because it wasn't covered by the insurance. I still think it doesn't, it's not covered by most insurances, but the most insurances may cover the um, shots, but you have to go to the clinic every week to get that shot from two to five years. Um, yeah, I don't have time for that. Okay, drop me your questions. I'll, I'd love to hear from you uh, and tell me what you think. Is anything helped you? Bye.